Ronald Acuna Jr. from the Braves, you know him, Met fans, uh, some Braves are thorn to your sides. He uh, won the uh, NL uh, MVP award and uh, unanimous, unanimous decision. Some of the people are a little bit up in arms, not so much that he won, but um, the fact that it was unanimous. Mookie Betts was also, I think, in the conversation. And I think they were both deserving, actually, in you know, Acuna and Betts. Akuna had a slightly higher OPS. Mookie had the slightly higher war. Akuna had the most, I think, glitzy um, SB stat. Uh, Mets played stellar defense in right field, second, and shortstop. Two guys that I enjoy to watch uh, baseball. Um, you know, I wonder if Betts had hit maybe one more home run to reach the 40-40 club, if any of the voters would have been swayed. Um, you know, apparently the additional value Mookie's defense versatility brought uh, to the table wasn't factored much, if at all, any by the writers. Um, you know, sometimes writers can be fickle, and it maybe was what it all came down to is just that one more home run. Maybe, and I'm not trying to take even anything away from Ronald Acuna Jr., but maybe Betts' versatility actually did him a disservice. Lots of writers will dis dis discount or discredit, rather, um, defensive metrics from, you know, from, you know, for small positional sample sizes, right? Kind of a deal as Betts exhibited but he definitely passed the eye test for many of them. So, you know, take that in mind. Ronald Acuna, this year's NL MVP. Hey, it could be bets next year. I wouldn't be surprised. And a lot of other, you know, uh, you know, could come to the forefront here as well. You know, when you have guys like Carroll that you got to factor as well. So it could be a very next interesting couple of years uh, in the NL.